So we're here to tell some stories. You got any stories? Go ahead. What? What? Go ahead. Oh, me? Yeah, you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, do not ever invite a storyteller to talk first. <laughs> you won't get a word in those ones. All right, uh, so let's start off with a story that involves death, destruction, and betrayal. Is that a good one? Wait, you want that kind of story or do you want some cute, bunny, fluffy kind of story? You want the death and destruction to be true. Okay, okay, yeah. Keep that one on the phone. All right. This one is about a man who, uh, in this story, never has a name. I just realized that. He just called the man. No, not, not the one that you work for. You all work for the man, right? No, not this one. This is a different man. This is a different man. Okay. So there was a man, and, and he was a traveling salesman, kind of. So he would spend a great deal of his time away from home, out traveling with the, you know, the sales stuff that he had to go do. Uh, so he had a, a, a nice house, a, a little farm. He had a you know, barn and, and some horses that he was very, very proud of, nice Arabians. But uh, the thing he liked best was when he would come back from one of these traveling trips he had to go on but as he was coming down the road toward his place his old dog blue had come up right up down the road yelling at him and greeting him jump up on him licking him and he just loved old blue he just loved old blue good old dog anyhow so as as the story goes one time he was out doing his travels and Coming on back and just getting closer and closer to the house, and no blue. Blue didn't come on out. And he kept walking closer and closer to his place, and calling, blue. Blue never came out. He began to wonder what, what, what happened. I mean, this is terrible. Was, he was really, really concerned because old blue would always come out and greet him. Well, just before he got there, there's a neighbor coming down the road the other way. And he said, the neighbor says to the man, he said, well, welcome back, but uh, got some bad news for you. And, and the man said, what, what's going on? And the neighbor said, well, I hate to tell you this, but uh, old blue's dead. And the man said, what? Old blue, my dog? What happened? And they said, well, you know, old Blue, he got a hold of some of that charred horse meat and uh, choked him. And he died. And, and yeah, old, old Blue, he's dead. And the man said, wait, hold it. Charred horse meat? What charred horse meat? How, what are you talking about? And, said, and the neighbor said, well, uh, must have been when your barn caught fire and the horses was in it and the whole thing just went up like that and charred them horses and old blue he came out and got hold of some of that charred horse meat you know and it, and it choked him and, and old blue he's, he's dead sorry and, and he's like wait a minute hold it my barn lit on how did that what's what tell me the whole thing and the man said uh, the neighbor says, well, um, well, it was your house that caught on fire first, actually, and then all the sparks that come up off of that, and, and the wind was blowing, and the sparks from your house went over and caught on to the barn, and the barn just went up and burnt up them horses in there, and old Blue, he got in there and got some of that charred horse meat, you know, and choked him, and old Blue, he didn't come back, he's dead. And, and the man says, my house? burnt down? How did that happen? And the neighbor said, well, I'll tell you, it was uh, it was the candles that was set at either end of the casket that was set up there in the living room. You know, them, uh, the candles there for the for the wake we was having, and they, they kind of blew onto the curtains, you know, and the curtains just went up, and your house went up just like that, and some of them sparks went over onto the barn, and, 
And the barn just went up just like that, and them horses was in it and cooked them all up like that. Old Blue, he got out there and got some of that charred horse meat and choked him. And I'm sorry, but Old Blue, he's dead. And the man was beside himself. He said, a funeral in my, who died in my house? And, and the neighbor said, well, uh, seems that it was this way. Uh, it was, it was your mother. Your mother died of a, a heart attack. And when you set the candles out there, of course, they lit the curtains on fire, and then your house went up, and the sparks met, got on the barn, and, and burnt out the horses in there, and old Blue, he got some of that charred horse meat, choked him. I'm sorry, old Blue is, isn't here to greet you. He's dead. And that, my mother, what, what, what just out of the blue, just, uh, just uh, the name said, well, no, it wasn't exactly like that. I, I believe the heart attack was uh, brought on by your wife and the kids when they all run off with that fella from the circus. And, of course, your mom had a heart attack over that and died and laid her out. And there were candles, you know, the candles on the curtains and, and the house went up and the sparks got over on the barn and lit the barn up and it just like that and, and the horses in there they got burnt up with the whole barn there you know old blue he got out there and got some of that charred horse meat and choked him and, i'm sorry my friend old blue's dead and the man sitting on the ground holding his head in his hands started to cry thinking about all that and his neighbor sat down beside him threw his arm around him and said yeah i know yeah i know he was a good old dog wasn't he yeah death and destruction and fire betrayal yeah good story